Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's severe weather update. So today, we have an enhanced risk for severe weather across portions of uh, Nebraska, Kansas, and uh, Oklahoma in the orange, a slight risk in the yellow, and a marginal risk in the dark green. We also have a marginal risk over portions of the Pacific Northwest today. Uh, taking a look at the tornado threat, there is a 5% chance of tornadoes within 25 miles of a given location in this uh, brown shade area today, and a 2% chance in this green shade area. So we could be seeing some uh, tornadoes today across the central plains. Now taking a look at the damaging wind threat today, there's a 30% chance of damaging straight line winds of 58 miles per hour or stronger within 25 miles of a location in the red area today, 15% chance in the yellow, 5% chance in the brown, and we have the chance for significant damaging winds today in the hatched area, a 10% chance of 75 mile per hour or stronger wind gusts within 25 miles of a location. So make sure you really prepare for damaging winds if you live in this area today. And looking at the hail, uh, there's a 30% chance of quarter size hail or larger within 25 miles of a location in the red shade region today. A 15% chance in the yellow, 5% chance in the brown. And then in the hatched area, we have a large area that could see significant two inch in diameter or hen egg size hail or larger within 25 miles of a location today. So make sure to prepare for the potential for some giant hail if you live in the hatched area today. Now timing out the storms, beginning around three o'clock central time this afternoon, we're gonna start to see some isolated showers and thunderstorms develop across portions of Nebraska and South Dakota. Going to four and five o'clock this afternoon, the storms are gonna increase in coverage and we're gonna start to see some areas of large hail and as we go into the evening, between about 6 and 8 p.m., the storms will begin to merge into what's going to be a big MCS this evening. And this uh, could become a derecho. So really watch out if you live in portions of southern Nebraska, Kansas, and Oklahoma for this evening. A lot of hail cores are evident by the by the dark reflectivity and then as we head into about 9 10 p.m really potent storm system begins to push south across uh, kansas could be seeing widespread damaging winds and large hail at this point and some isolated to scattered tornadoes and going into uh, t uh midnight the mcs is going to race out these sword across kansas producing very producing large hail and mostly damaging winds at this point and then going into 1 through 2 and 3 a.m. it's going to push into northern Oklahoma southeast Kansas and then <clears throat> going into tomorrow morning uh, around 5 a.m. the MCS is going to push across eastern Oklahoma and western Missouri bringing widespread damaging winds Looking at rainfall accumulations, uh, we can expect potential flooding issues with widespread 1 to uh, 3 inches across eastern Nebraska, Kansas, and Oklahoma with pockets of 4 to 5 inches. So flooding is going to be kind of an issue overnight with this uh, storm system. Anyway, thanks for watching my severe weather update. Uh, make sure to prepare for severe weather if you live in the shade areas today. Uh, have a wonderful day, my friends.